well, one thing I'm proud to say is a lot of the people we've found have gone on to Carson and Letterman, and we deal with their people all the time. Did I see that guy on Letterman? Yeah. Yes, the yeah. same guy with this enormous pig, yeah. this great big pig, folks, and we, George found that pig. Oh, we did a guy who, uh, he does, he's from <laughs> Hamilton, oh, Ohio. Oh, Greg Irwin, wonderful he man. He does finger fitness, and he does things with his fingers that you can only... You, you oh, sure, I saw, I saw him on he, Johnny Carson. Yes. Yeah, well, he, we found I didn't know what I had on and, the phone uh, that day. Darcy Hedrich is, ta is Carson's uh, talent coordinator. We all kind of know each other because uh, at one point we, Star Magazine did a story on Maria, Brad Jones, the photographer, and right. myself. So they found out about us and started calling us and say, well, we're kind of in this weird business together where we have to find weird people, so let's share the wealth. And now we call, as they call, we talked to Madeline today. Uh, she's Madeline Smithberg. She was uh, David Letterman's talent person. So they call us. We put uh, little Hank Martin, the two-year-old basketball player. He was on, uh -huh. we found him. We put them on him on Letterman. Uh, who else we put on Letterman? Oh, gosh, um, Frank, or no, Dick, Dick Freimeyer. Freimeyer. Dick Freimeyer. He's a fellow who uh, has Teddy the Rooster who predicts uh, Super Bowl <laughs> outcomes. Um, How timely. Did he say How timely. anything about <laughs> yeah. this one? Hey, yeah. he predicted the Bengals. I think the Bengals were he winning. He did. He yeah. predicted the Bengals. Partisan but crowd. We find all these people, so uh, uh, they found their way after oh, us to Carson. And uh, one of the nice things about it is, is after we, we, we meet these people and we get to know them on a real personal level, right. and we're kind of like adopted in their families. So we always have a place to eat. They're always calling us. <laughs> uh, they call us from Los Angeles when they're on the Carson show when they're nervous, and we kind of calm them down. And uh, uh, matter of fact, Greg, who was on there, has a couple national contracts oh. now to do commercials for, through his, with his finger. Oh, yeah, I'll bet. Well, yeah. that, was, that was unbelievable. Anybody yeah. who's that good with their fingers. Yes, has a special talent. <laughs> well, you had to see it. Yes. Really. Hard to describe. Uh, you know, these people are at a disadvantage, yeah, obviously. To, we should have brought clips. It didn't show up yeah. in a photo. <laughs> uh, do you have any, any ones that you, uh, or uh, by George's, that you uh, particularly like, your favorites? Uh, that uh, my favorite is, the, is the, the, the dead man, Speedy, who uh, stands in a closet in Paducah, Kentucky, and has been there for 60 years. Why does he? Why is he there? He's, it's a funeral home, and um, <laughs> uh, well, the, the woman who runs the funeral home, sweet woman. Again, we don't let, let you make up your mind. But she, right. uh, uh, 60 years ago, uh, before her husband passed away, they had, uh, her husband was a, an embalmer, and I guess to re reach the pinnacle of your profession, uh, embalmers want to be able to whip up something that will preserve people for eternity. Kind of like you know, you want to be on NBC. You know, uh, that's what they want to do. They so want to like find Dick something. Clark. Right. <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> so uh, they went to work in the kitchen and came up with this thing. Uh, the neighbor passed away. He were drowned in the river. He had no family. So they said, let's try this on Speedy. Oh, so this was 60 years ago, and they embalmed Speedy with it, and they kept him around to see what would happen. So as people, as Speedy stayed there for a while, you know, people started finding out, and they'd come, first from around the city, then from around uh, the neighborhood, then, then the state, and then eventually the country. So they, uh, they passed an ordinance in the town of, town of Paducah saying that you don't have to bury Speedy because he's a, a national treasure. All right. Oh, that's, great. <laughs> well, that's good. Well, we're going to have to uh, take a break, but we'll be right back with more of Georgia Maria right after this. Don't go away.